This maple Belgian waffle cake is very impressive to look at, but it's so easy to make. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with one half cup of butter that's been brought to room temperature. Add to that a half a cup of brown sugar that's been packed. Blend that together until it is light and fluffy. And then add in one and a half cups of maple syrup. Allow that to blend in. Don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl. And then you're gonna add in three eggs, one at a time, blending after each addition. Then blend in a quarter teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of baking powder. After that's blended in, add in two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour a little bit at a time until it's all combined into the batter and then finally add in one cup of milk once that's stirred in you're going to divide your batter among three round eight inch cake pans i prepared mine by greasing them and adding a circle of parchment to the bottom and then greasing that as well spread your batter around equally i actually weighed mine just to see if they were equal then you're going to take three Belgian waffles. These are the frozen kind. Uh, you can make your own, of course. My waffle maker makes square ones. So I wanted a round one. I got this from the grocery store and press them into the batter. And then you're going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the cake comes out clean. If it starts to get too brown or the waffles are too brown, just cover with foil wrap at the near the end of the cooking time. Then once they're cool, take them out of the pans, take the first one, put it on a plate, and then drizzle one quarter cup of maple syrup or pancake syrup over top of it. Place the second layer, another quarter cup of syrup, and then the third layer again with another quarter cup of syrup. It'll soak into the cake and it'll make it absolutely yummy. This cake does not need frosting. Now, when you're all done, you can add a little pat of cold butter on top of the cake, just as a decoration to make it look like a waffle on a plate. Now, I wanted to show you what it was like to slice. If you eat it the same day, the waffle will be a little bit crunchy on the top. Um, but by the next day, the waffle itself actually gets very soft and becomes almost cake-like, like the rest of the cake. So here are my recipe notes about this cake. What I would suggest is you prepare it like I did, wrap it in plastic wrap and let it sit overnight before you cut it. It'll keep the cake from cracking and the waffles be nice and soft, which will make it better. It'll also give a chance for that maple syrup to sink through the cake and to get absorbed into the cake, which makes it absolutely delicious. One more recipe note, when you're putting this together, when you put the waffle into the cake batter, make sure you push it all the way down so that the batter and the waffle are level and they're even in the cake pan. The cake will not go over top of the waffle. You won't have to worry about it. It'll stay exactly where it is. And I find it would be cuter if it was more level, if the waffle was level with the cake. Also try to get the largest waffles you can get. It looks better with a very large waffle and you'd actually have more waffle in the recipe when you're all done instead of just being in the center. This is definitely a cake I will make again. It's a delicious maple cake, whether or not you decide to put the waffles in it or not. And it stays nice and moist after two, three days at room temperature, does not dry out at all. Now, one last interesting note here, you'll notice there are two dark layers and a light layer in the middle. The difference there were the pans. I used dark metal pans and one aluminum pan. The aluminum pan actually made the lighter cake and it actually took an extra five or six minutes to bake compared to the dark pans, which was kind of interesting. Anyhow, give this one a try. You'll love it. Did you know that you can make lollipops and hard candies with maple syrup? Well, you can. It's really easy to do. Now, in this particular video, I actually put bacon in the center of each lollipop. If that's not something you're interested in, you can leave the bacon out, but they make great little candies. If you want to see this video, go ahead and click right on your screen. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye, everyone.